to thank God tonight once again for another privilege to appear in the presence of the Most High God. Let's open our mouth and begin to adore Him. Let's open our mouth and begin to exalt Him. He is worthy of all our praises. He is worthy of all our adoration. Open your mouth and thank God for the grace, for the strength, for the enablement tonight. Open your mouth and give Him all the glory this night. Open your mouth and thank Him for another privilege to come into His presence. Open your mouth and adore him. Many are dying, many are perishing. Open your mouth and thank him because you are alive today. Heavenly Father, we worship your majesty. We thank you because you are a good God. Father, we bless you for another day. Father, we bless you because you are awesome. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. You do wonders, hallelujah. Open your mouth and just say, Father, I thank you for the four days of day fasting and prayer. Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you for another presence, another time to appear in your presence. Our Lord, our God, immortal, the invisible, the only wise God, the great I am, the Lord of hosts, the mighty man in battle, the El Shaddai, the omnipotent, the Alpha and the Omega. Oh Lord, we worship you. We adore your excellency tonight, O oh Lord. Our God, our maker, we bless your holy name. Great. Say 
Worship the most high God once again for the grace and the privilege. Open your mouth. The word of God says to them that are joined to the living, there is hope. Open your mouth for the mercy of God and new every morning. mighty name we are prayed in Jesus mighty name we are prayed in Jesus mighty name we are prayed 
I want to appreciate God for every life that is here tonight. I uh, will quickly read the word of God. We go into the communion. After what we go into the uh, prayer session. But if you, if you have your Bible with me with you, please, can you quickly open into the Bible book in the book of Luke twenty four. Luke 24, verse 30, says something. If you are there, shout hallelujah. The word of God says, Now it came to pass, as he sat at the table with them, that he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. The next verse says, verse 31. Then their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished from their sight. What am I going to draw from this scripture tonight? These are two people that have been walking on their way, and Jesus met them. Why Jesus met them on their way? They were having wonderful conversation, but they never knew that it was Jesus Christ. In fact, there is a place before that which says, their eyes were restrained. But until they partook of the communion, their eyes were never open. Tonight is another privilege to take part in the communion tonight. And my prayer is, as you take part of this communion tonight, your eyes will be open in the name of Jesus. Every veil that have covered your eyes, every veil that have covered your destiny, every veil that have covered all the opportunities by the virtue of this communion tonight, all the veil will be lifted in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. From the minister, you always know the direction we are going tonight. Um, after the late communion, uh, you just pray and that God will open your eyes to see all the hidden treasures in the hidden places. That God will open your eyes. The Bible says, according to that place, when they took the holy communion, their eyes opened. So today, your eyes will open. As I said, sometimes the doors have been opened, the open have been opened to us, but we can't discover it. But today, after taking this holy communion today, you will begin to discover all the hidden riches that God has put in place for you. All the doors that God has opened for you, you begin to walk through them in the mighty name of Jesus. So this evening, as we take holy communion, that's the prayer you are going to pray. Say, Father, remove every veil from my eyes. Every veil that is covering me. Some of all is the veil that is covering us. We cannot discover. Even our partner, we cannot discover our destiny. We cannot discover our purpose because that's the veil. But today, this only communion period, what time you take it, the first thing I'm going to pray, say, Father, remove every veil from my eyes. Every veil, God will remove them today as you take his flesh and his blood. Every veil shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Every veil shall be removed today. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's minister have the only communion. <clears throat> you can put one at the back there for those who are just coming so they can just take it as they're coming. So don't get disturbed. Some of us have been praying that God should open the way for us. Making God has opened the door. He has been telling you, I have opened the door, but the veil cannot allow us to see it. But today, even those veil that is covering those doors and the one covering your eyes from seeing the purpose that God has put for you today, God will remove them in the name of Jesus. That's one thing that happened when Jesus Christ died on the cross. The Bible says the veil that covered the temple was, you know, was destroyed, was broken to two, was torn to two. Today, whatever veil that is covering you, God will remove them. And you begin to see all the hidden treasures. 
in dark places, in hidden places, you begin to discover them. As you discover them, you begin to make use of them. And you begin to advance and begin to move forward in life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's take out our, uh, take out our bread now. Taking out our bread. Who wants to start to share advance with the Holy Communion? Those who are coming, just give to them from behind. Those who are just joining us, just take the Holy Communion. Where, anywhere they meet us, so they can begin to pray along with us. Just make sure you just take one. Okay, if you have done that, I'll take our Holy Communion. For I receive from the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. The Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he has given thank, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's eat our bread now. Let's take our cup. Let's open it. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's drink now. And pray, say, by the reason of this holy communion, every veil covering me from seeing the opportunity that God has put before me, that veil, tear by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, pray for, for those veils to remove. Pray that those veils be removed in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. Rikafra kanda yale kanda area, kanda masetaria. Tonight, oh Lord, every veil that is covering my destiny, every veil that is causing my heart, oh Lord, I command it be removed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every veil that is covering my eyes, oh Lord, remove them tonight. 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 Every veil that is covering my life, every veil that is covering my destiny, remove them by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, remove them tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, remove them tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, remove them tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, remove them tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we cry unto you. Every veil that is covering my eyes, oh Lord, remove them tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A believing amen. Yeah, we are still standing up. Let's open our Bible to the book of Luke 18, please. Luke 18, verse 35 and downward. Uh, we are going to read together so that our mind is there. If you have your Bible, you can read with your, from your Bible. If you have the screen closer to you, you can read for the, from the screen so that we can understand what we are praying for. Tonight, the topic we are praying on, on the basis of your mercy. Hallelujah. I've read through the Bible. People that pray on the basis of mercy is not a gentle prayer. They really cry. They re they, it was an intense prayer. We're going to read it together tonight. And we are going to cry unto the Lord. Oh, whatsoever is that issue of your life. Whatsoever is that long-standing problem. Whatsoever judgment that has been standing against you. By the mercy of Jehovah God tonight. Everything we speak in your favor in the name of Jesus. Let's read together, verse 35. Then it happened, as he was coming near Jericho, that a certain blind man sat by the road begging. Hallelujah. A, a blind man. That means person, the person cannot see anything. That means it will depend on the people. It will depend on the help of other people. It, the person will be at the mercy of other people. But tonight... Is passing by. Jesus Christ is passing by again. I know somebody is here. Somebody is going to cry loud to the Lord. And is going to hear your cry in the name of Jesus. 
Verse 36 says, And hearing a multitude passing by, he asked what it meant because he cannot see. He asked the question, what is happening? The next verse says, So they told him, so he was acting on information that somebody told him, this is what is happening. So he was there, but he cannot see. He cannot feel it. The next one says, so they told him that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. And the man said, Jesus of Nazareth. The next verse says, what did he do? Oh, I thought somebody still with us. He cried out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The multitude there is not talking about 1,000 people. The multitude there is not talking about 10,000. Multitude is an open-end number. So for somebody to cry, and Jesus had, the next verse says, Jesus stood still. Why? Because you are going to cry tonight. Jesus is going to stand still and attend to your issue. In the name of Jesus. Verse 40 says, So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be brought to him. And when he had come near him, he asked saying, what do you want me to do? He's asking you that same question tonight. What do you want me to do? You have been crying all the year. I want to guarantee you, too much is too much for God. In a split of seconds, that thing you have been waiting for, all the year round out, Jesus is going to answer tonight. In the name of Jesus. Verse 42 says, Then Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has made you whole. Open your mouth and begin to thank God tonight. Open your mouth and begin to exhort him tonight. Open your mouth. I thought somebody will cry tonight. I thought somebody will cry unto the Lord tonight. Open your mouth. Father, tonight, I have come to you. Not any man. Show me mercy, O oh Lord. Show me mercy, O oh Lord. I have come to see you on the basis of your mercy. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The word of God in the book of Jeremiah 33 says, Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. That blind man called unto Jesus. Hallelujah. There is another account in the book of Matthew 20. This one has to do with two blind men. They cry the same cry. Show us mercy. So I don't know if you are crying as an individual. He's going to answer in the name of Jesus. As we cry as a congregation. He's going to answer in the name of Jesus. A quick announcement before we go. If you listen to that story very well. Jesus said. What do you want me to do? I am just here to lead you. You know the reason why you are fasting. It is not important to fast alone, but to reap the harvest of the fasting. And if you look at this season, it's the season of prayer and fasting and answer. Hallelujah. That's your issue. God will answer. By mercy tonight, 
In the name of Jesus. We are going to sing one song. Then we go into the series of prayer. We are going to cry unto the Lord. Show me mercy, show me mercy. Show me mercy, show me mercy. Show me mercy, show me mercy. That's the cry of our heart tonight. That's the cry of tonight's service. That's what about this service tonight. We are going to cry. Show me mercy, mercy today. Lord, show me mercy, mercy today. Show me mercy, mercy today. Lord, show me mercy, mercy today. My soul, my soul. One and one are fear. My soul. Show me mercy, mercy. Show me mercy. we are going to pray about mercy. In the book of Psalm 51 verse 1, the word of God says, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgression. If there is sin, if there is transgression in your life, it can deny, it can deny that mercy to you. Open your mind tonight and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by virtue of your tender mercy, blot out my transgression, oh Lord. Open your mouth and pray tonight. By virtue of your mercy, oh Lord. Every
reason that we enter tonight prayer. Oh Lord, purify me. Wash me from all the sins in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I thought somebody is going to pray that prayer point very well. By virtue of your mercy, oh Lord. Have mercy, oh Lord. Blot out my transgression. Blot out my transgression tonight, oh Lord. By your mercy, oh Lord, tonight. My God and my King, by virtue of your mercy tonight, every sin that can hinder my prayer from being answered tonight, Father, wash me clean tonight, O Lord. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I know some of you, you are very holy. You are saying, why should I be crying? For mercy to blot out my transgression. There is a common area where we, we don't understand. The word of God says in the book of Matthew 5, 7. It says, blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. So either you are born again or not. He said, when you are merciful, you will obtain mercy. One of the person that obtain mercy is David. He saw so, so wanted to kill him. And he has the right to kill so. He has opportunity. But he said, I will not kill the anointed. He showed mercy. No wonder every time he always obtained mercy from the Lord. You are going to cry again tonight, O Lord. Wherever you have not shown mercy to people, you have not shown mercy to the beggar, you have not shown mercy to your neighbor, that's your friend that offend you. You have not shown mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Father, tonight, oh Lord, by the virtue of your mercy, oh Lord, forgive me tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, oh Lord, forgive me tonight, oh Lord, for not showing mercy to other people. Heavenly Father, I cry unto you tonight. By the virtue of your mercy, I am sorry for not showing mercy even to the beggar outside there. I am sorry for not lending to the poor, oh Lord. Show me mercy tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. The book of Proverbs 20, 28 says something. It says, mercy and truth preserve the king and by loving kindness he uphold his throne mercy and truth preserve the king you are going to cry unto the lord the year is running to an end so many evil has been happening outside there you are going to cry father by the virtue of your mercy tonight preserve my soul oh lord Preserve the soul of my wife and my children. Preserve the soul of my loved ones, oh Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. I guess we don't understand that prayer very well. Recently we heard about the plane crash. There are some people that were involved. There was no survival in that plane crash. In fact, when I was reading one of the news, some people were taking selfie. They post their selfie after they are dead on the newspaper. That is not your portion. You are going to cry. There is no family member of yours that is involved. Because there are some people now, because their family are involved, they are not in peace. They are crying every day. It's not your own portion. You are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, preserve my soul. Preserve my family. Preserve my loved one. Preserve my wife. Preserve my children. Oh, Lord, by your mercy tonight. Preserve my soul, oh, Lord. Oh, 
on the platform of your mercy. Preserve me, O Lord. I shall not die but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Open your mouth and pray. O Lord, preserve my destiny, O Lord. Preserve me, O oh Lord, from every destruction, every evil plan. Preserve my destiny. Preserve my going out, O oh Lord. Preserve my coming in, O oh Lord. I will not shed tears over my family, O oh Lord. I will not shed tears, O Lord, over my children, O Lord. I will not shed tears over any member of JCC. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We are still going to pray that prayer again very well. In the book of Genesis 19, when the Lord sent angels to go and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, there is a man, Lord, and he said, this man, move with you and your family. The guy was delaying. But because of the mercy of the Lord, God preserved him, the angel, they came and pulled him, that you are not going to die with the destruction. There are so many destructions that have been orchestrated, that have been planned. We are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, every evil plan, every evil destruction will not come near me, O oh Lord. As this year is running to an end, I will not see destruction, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, on the basis of your mercy, deliver me from every destruction, every arrow of destruction, My father, my God, and my king, deliver me from every arrow, every arrow of destruction. Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver my destiny, O oh Lord. Deliver my family, O oh Lord, from every arrow of destruction. In Jesus' name we are praying. There are some people, they are not even traveling at all. They are in their house. Or they are walking on the road. And something strange happened. But the word of God made me to realize. He said, sun shall not smite thee by day. Not the moon by the night. You are going to pray. Every arrow of destruction. That have been programmed into the sun. Into the moon. Into the star. Against my life. Scattered by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every arrow of destruction. That have been programmed into the sun, into the moon, into the star. I say scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic arrow that have been programmed into the sun, that have been programmed into the moon. I say scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from every arrow of destruction. By your mercy, O oh Lord, tonight. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from every arrow. By your mercy, in the name of Jesus. Deliver me, 
deliver me, O Lord, tonight. Deliver my destiny. Deliver my family. Deliver me, O Lord. My going out and my coming is by your mercy, O Lord. Deliver me from arrow of death. Deliver me from arrow of sorrow. Deliver me from arrow of one silent minute. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, O Lord, by your power. Deliver me, O Lord, by your power. By your fire tonight, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord, from arrow of death. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. We are still going to pray that prayer. I have a lot of prayer here tonight. But that prayer is very important. It's only when you are alive that you can bring your certificate. It's only when you are alive you can go to work. It's only when you are alive you can go to your bank and withdraw money. Hallelujah. Recently in the newspaper, a, 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 a particular husband was waiting at home. Waiting for the wife. The wife has not come. What's happening? Out of curiosity, after waiting for a long time, the guy stepped out of the house. Let me go and look. Let me just throw. I know where she comes from when she's coming. She saw the wife. If, uh, nine, nine, nine. Ambulance has not got there. In a ditch, he, she saw the, he saw the car. The wife was dead. That same person, maybe when he was going out, she was going out in the morning. The peck, honey, sweetie pie, and all those stuff. But the lady never returned back home. That's why we are praying. Arrow that have been programmed into the sun. Arrow that have been programmed into the moon. Will not come near us. We are still going to pray. Father, you are going to deliver us tonight. From every arrow of death. We are going to clap our hand. Let's quickly see this song. And we pray that prayer. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Oh Lord. By your fire, by your power, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord, by your power, by your fire, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord, by your power, by your fire, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me. Deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord, by your power, by your fire. Deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me. Deliver me, oh Lord, by your fire, by your power. Deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me. By your fire, by your power, deliver me, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord, by your fire, we are going to take that prayer, Father, on the grant of your mercy, deliver me from every arrow of death, in the name of Jesus. Deliver me tonight, O oh Lord, on the ground of your mercy, from the arrow of death, from the arrow of destruction. Deliver me tonight, O oh Lord. Deliver my family, O oh Lord. Deliver my loved one, O oh Lord. Oh Lord, deliver me, oh Lord, from every arrow of death. By your mercy tonight. Deliver me by all oh Lord tonight from every evil arrow that is flying around. Sun shall 
shall not spy me by day, nor the moon by the night in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, and my king, deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me tonight, O oh Lord. By your mercy, I shall not die. I will not receive letter of sorrow. In the name of Jesus, I will not receive the letter of I am sorry. In the name of Jesus, there shall never be any loss in my family, in my life, oh Lord. On the basis of your mercy tonight. Deliver me, O oh Lord. On the ground of your mercy, I shall not die, O oh Lord. My wife will not die, O oh Lord. My children will not die, O oh Lord. No member of JCC will die. Father, we are crying. There shall never be I am sorry to us in this church. As the year is going to an end, there will never be one minute silent from any life in the name of Jesus. We shall not weep over any soul. In this church, oh Lord, on the ground of your mercy, we shall not lose any life in this church on the ground of your mercy. Jesus' name we are prayed. A believing amen. amen. The word of God says in the book of Psalm 102, verse 13, it says, You will arise and have mercy on Samuel for the time to favor me. Yes, the set time has come. The first line says, Almighty God himself is going to arise and have mercy on who? I want to quickly give everybody three minutes. I don't know how you are going to cry. I'm not going to lead any prayer point for you. I don't know why you are here tonight. You are going to cry unto the Lord yourself. Nobody is going to help you. Do it yourself tonight. The word of God says, I will arise and have mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and cry. Oh Lord, arise. Have mercy upon my life. Have mercy upon my destiny. Have mercy upon my family. Oh Lord, arise and have mercy. If your case is immigration issue, cry unto the Lord tonight. If your case is employment, cry unto the Lord. Because this is the set time to have mercy upon you. He 
if your case is health issue, cry unto the Lord tonight. mercy, oh Lord. Cry unto the Lord. Father, tonight, I will not go until you bless me. Father, tonight, I will not go until you tell my story. Open the floodgate of heaven unto me, Lord. Open the floodgate of heaven. Show me mercy. If your case is academic issue, cry unto the Lord. He is the God that answers my fire. Oh Lord, arise tonight. Show me mercy. Oh Lord, arise. Show me mercy. Oh Lord, arise for my sake. Oh Lord, arise. Restore my departed glory. Open your mouth and cry unto the Lord. Oh Lord, arise. Let every delayed miracle manifest by fire tonight. Oh Lord, arise. Let the cloud of failure fade away tonight. Oh Lord, arise. Turn every disappointment to blessing in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise. Reverse every problem of my life. Oh Lord, arise. Every satanic record against my life receive fire and be roasted. In the name of Jesus. Restore me, O oh Lord. Revive my destiny, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, arise tonight. Reverse every trouble, every problem over my life in the name of Jesus. Arise, oh Lord. Oh Lord, arise tonight, oh Lord, for my sake. Oh Lord, arise by virtue of coming here tonight. Arise, oh Lord, turn my story for good. In Jesus. 
Jesus' name we are prayed. A believing amen. Let's jump up on our feet if you are still here. If you know God has answered your prayer tonight, shout hallelujah to the Lord. It is very good to begin a race very well. And it's very best to complete it. Hallelujah. We are going to read a, a, a scripture. I will lead the final prayer. Hallelujah. Let's see what the word of God says in the book of Matthew 15. 22 to 28. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But Jesus answered and said, But he answered her not a word, and his disciple came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. What is their concern? Verse 24 says, But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The simple meaning is that, young lady, young woman, you are not qualified. So, but if you remember, the first thing the woman cried, mercy. There are some things, there are some blessings you are not qualified for. But by virtue of the mercy of the over God, is going to release unto you tonight in the name of Jesus. We wrap it up. Then she said, she came and worshiped, saying, Lord, help me. I don't have authority. I don't have any option. But he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dog. So in essence, Jesus still called him little dogs. But the woman, because she was so determined, except you do this, I'm not going to, whatever you like, just say, I'm not going to move an inch until you answer me by fire. The next verse says, even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. The lady said, well, little dog or no little dog, I just need a small token. My life will be transformed. I just need a, a very little touch of your blessing. Look at what Jesus said. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Hallelujah. This is somebody that her case has been concluded. This is somebody that the judgment is already passed. But he stood there. He said, Lord, accept you bless me. The final prayer we are going to pray. We are going to cry unto the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your mercy triumph over every pending judgment of my destiny. Let your mercy triumph over every case, every decision that has been pending against my life and destiny. Let mercy triumph tonight, O oh Lord. I know I am not qualified. I am not qualified. I am crying for mercy tonight. I know I don't even want the blessing. All I need is your mercy to prevail in the name of Jesus. Over my life, over my career, all I need is your mercy, oh Lord. Let your mercy triumph over every judgment in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's share the grace in the fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Let's confess it once again. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And forever. Shout hallelujah. 
Confession, please. I cover my prayer in the blood of Jesus. According to the word of God. 